Hello everyone, my name is Squash with Gonzalez, and today I wanted to talk about two decks that I made for the NNR Rarity Festival. One of them is more of a gold rank level of play, and the other one is platinum rank level of play. This is the gold rank level of play deck here, as it focuses more on attack manipulation as opposed to actual physical removal. Um, and it also can gain you pretty crazy advantage with all of the draw support in lizard draw guitar and smile sorcerer so you'll want to go for the attack manipulation not just for the you know for the battle damage oh by the way uh we run this because it can't run gamma cl and there's no other good turtles that you can run best turtle that you can run in this deck um anyways you want to go for the attack manipulation obviously so you can decrease your opponent's life points but if you get the attack manipulation then you can set up smile sorcerer to go in for crazy draws uh the attack manipulation also allows you to get some pretty high numbers on board as barracuda allows you to increase monsters attacks by the amount that they're increased so essentially doubling the amount of increases that you can give your monsters. You could actually end up with uh, the highest number I got on board with this deck is 7,400 on a lizard draw. <laughs> it's pretty wild to think about, to be honest. Uh, Soul Pendulum is a super important card to give you access to your attack increases as well as to make your pendulum skills just a little bit easier to use. Um, and uh, everything gets all tied in together with the Smile Sorcerer, which makes it so that you could get a possible plus six draw. Pretty crazy to think about. You can't special summon anymore for the rest of that turn, but it's a plus six. Like, what are you, you going to argue with that? You're going to fight me on that? So... <laughs> The extra deck isn't really important, but I wanted to include include Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon since that was a rare. Uh, since it's so easy to go into in a Pendulum deck, that's an auto include for any Pendulum deck in the NNR Rarity Festival. The Synchro plays, you go into those using Odd Eyes Synchron. It's not an important card. If you decide to replace Odd Eyes Synchron, make sure you replace it with another high scale. Frost Sheep. Uh, D fighting Darum Adult, well, just all the Link Monsters are the most important things. Regulator is probably the least relevant card, um, least relevant Link Monster. Uh, a super pro tip, the extra deck, the extra deck Pendulum Summon board setup that you want to go for, that you can summon the most amount of monsters from the extra deck, is a Tri Brigade Rugal and the right extra deck monster zone and a proxy dragon summoned with the effect of triple burst dragon in the monster zone that is right under the left extra deck monsters that allows you to summon four pendulum monsters or pendulum summon four pendulum monsters from the extra deck what, what a freaking mouthful i hope you have fun with this deck definitely only stick to gold rank with this one does not do well in platinum at least consistently So this is my plat rank deck for the NNR Rarity Festival. You usually see more meta decks and meta styles of play in that in that rank. So uh, you know I had to come up with something stronger. The Performer Pals wasn't working for me. This is what I came up with, and it actually works quite well. Uh, all of the cards they flow well with each other, and the additions of these specific cards allow you access to ways to cycle through your other cards. Very cool that it's able to do that all within, you know, one archetype that is essentially four different archetypes. So, the crawlers, you don't necessarily need them, but they allow you access to pretty good spot removal as well as a floodgate and deus ex crawler as well as its searching effect, which allows you to go into your guard dragon monster. Um, Survivor and Orchestrated Return 
most important three ofs in this deck. They allow you to do some combos with Orcus and World Legacy World Wand, as well as the Crawler Monsters. And Scars is really good for cycling through your deck, and it's the reason why I added Mech Knights. So I added Memory to this because it allows you to pretty much add a Mech Knight to your hand. Uh, a little convoluted there. You usually want to activate this in your opponent's turn. You could add either Avram or the Yellow Star. And this Yellow Star, it's not important. The reason I chose it was because it's level 7. Um, and it also has spot removal. I, and I prefer back row removal for this event over uh, monster removal. That's just a personal preference, I think. So you have the Crawler Field spell, which is one of the least important cards in this deck. You have World Legacy Key, which is very... It's a weirdly... It, it it does it does a lot <laughs> it's like i don't know this is a weird card because you never need it but you need it when you need it and it comes up quite often uh world legacy corruption that's a really important card if you open normal monsters uh, especially unless your opponent has mst and you're able to get Imduck out into the field, they really have no other way to go around Imduck other than having to deal with um, another World Legacy monster right after it. Orchestrated Einsatz, easy Orchest um, combos, and Trap Globe for recursion. Orchestrated Attack is the least most important card in this deck, and these two cards do a pretty neat combo where you can use this card to actually set the Crusadia Crawler back in your spell and trap zone. The extra deck has a few monsters that are really hard to summon, but they're there just in case. The main monsters that you want to summon are your Dark Monsters, Crumble Logos, Grand Pulls, and uh, well, all of the Link monsters here. Dark Arm Dragon is a really, really good thing to keep in mind as spot removal. It's not once per turn. You could destroy two cards. And you can banish two cards from your graveyard so that you could uh, go for some Orcus plays in case you kind of uh, messed up there. The Link Monsters are super important. I mentioned Imduck for the interactions with Corruption. And if you start off with normal monsters. But Pentastag is your dark monster that you really, really want to save for if you're locking yourself into your dark monster special summons. Frost Shape is probably your least most summoned Link monster in this deck, but it does do, it does come up quite often. Genator Transverser and Steel Star are really good removal, definitely need those in this deck, and Orchestrion is your main boss monster for when you do your Orcus plays. So that's it for today. This was uh, Squash with Gonzalez's two NNR Rarity Festival decks. One is for Gold Rank and one is for Platinum. Of course, Remember to keep your Perform Pals in the gold rank. They don't do well in Platinum, at least without their Skull Crow Bats and their Pendulum Sorcerers. I'm not looking for any criticisms on these decks. I just wanted to uh, share two decks that I thought were kind of fun, in my opinion. The Perform Pals can, get, it can create an 8k beat stick, while this deck has just a slew of boss monsters that you can summon. So I hope you have fun. I wish you luck on your draws and i'll see you on the next video squash out